Huh? What's going on here? <gasps> Multi is here! You? Oh no, you did not. He's my roommate! Yeah! He's my roommate! Oh my gosh, Multi just woke up. <laughs> hey guys, it's the Gaming Roommate, and welcome to my channel. So we are back in Roblox Royal High. So we are back in The Sims 4 Royal High School, and as you can see, we have Multi being super rude, and he's just like, ugh, I hate my life. But uh, obviously, he's really angry and upset because oh, Prince up. Fire and all the other Furies escaped from his clutches. They escaped the dungeon, so he is really frustrated about it. I actually told him to do his homework, but apparently Multi is too tense, far too tense to do this because he is just super upset about it. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do in this episode i had i had an idea and you guys have been suggesting it too but you see the thing is as you can tell multi has no real heart he is very self-absorbed and he just doesn't care well long long ago multi actually was in a relationship with someone he pretended to make a girl fall in love with him and obviously he broke her heart so that girl she is actually a love fairy and she has been heartbroken. So she is not very happy and she wants to get her revenge on Multi. So we'll see what she does. She might do something pretty crazy, but we'll have to see. So let's go to Manage Worlds and move on to the love fairy who was heartbroken by Multi. And so here they are, the Love and Light sisters, the Love and Light fairies. We have Morwenna and we also have Ravenia, and it's Ravenia who had her heart broken. She used to be a love fairy, and now as you can see, she is a dark fairy. Her heart was broken so badly. So they live in this household with the fairy castle, and the fairy castle has the magical tree to turn people into fairies, and the magical statue to turn people into mermaids as well. Surprisingly, I actually spent a lot of time trying to decorate this. We have this giant magical tree that leads to this beautiful lot with uh, some landscaping. I mean, I did my best, but I think it looks really cool. It's very lush, and so this is like the mermaid area. Very magical, and then we have the beautiful fairy tree, and again, and I tried to put some landscaping around here, but bear with me. Um, I tried my best. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and have the dark fairy and the light fairy come over here and become fairies officially. All right, so here they are. Now we're going to go ahead and plead for the fairies. Or Vinia's like, I don't feel like it. I want to just go ahead and watch TV. But that is not what we're going to do, Ravinia. We are going to turn into fairies so that we can have our magical powers. And here is more Wena light. <gasps> And look at her as a light fairy. Oh my goodness, she looks absolutely beautiful. <gasps> look at her. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. <gasps> now Ravenia's like, oh my gosh, <gasps> this is exactly what I needed. I need these magical powers so that I can get my revenge. I'm multi breaking my heart. All right, Ravenia, are you ready, girl? It is time for you to plead for the fairy so that you can become a fairy as well. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, here she goes. Now she is pleading for the fairies. Look at her. a little more Wenna looking absolutely beautiful with, oh my gosh, her wings. And here is Ravenia, <gasps> officially a fairy. And now she is gonna get her revenge on Multi. Now that she has her magical powers, oh my goodness, she looks beautiful as well. So Ravenia is contemplating. Now that I have these magical powers, I can finally get my revenge on the one who broke my heart. Multi, she is out. She is out of here. She is on her way already. But girl, oh my gosh, she's gonna talk to her sister. She's gonna talk to her sister and discuss what she is gonna do. Her plan. She's like, sister, I know this isn't very light of us. This isn't a very light fairy type of thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my revenge. Look, this is what I'm planning to do. I am gonna get my revenge on Multi, and there's nothing you can do about it, girl. You could either go against me or you can help me. What do you say? Oh, I think she likes it. Okay, good. Thanks, sister. I know that we don't always see eye to eye, but at least you can agree with me on this, right? All right, I think Morwenia is like, um, all right, I'll help you. Great, thanks, sister. I knew I could count on you. All right, let's go. Alrighty, well, 
Here goes nothing. So, in order for us to get our magical powers, I'm gonna go ahead and have her go upstairs because I put a little lump of clay there so she can transform into a sorcerer. And that way, oh, she's playing with dolls. Wait, oh, no, don't do that. Oh my gosh, she's destroying the dollhouse. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh my goodness, this girl is going crazy. She is really going crazy right now. Wow, Hobricker. Seriously? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think she investigated the lump of clay. So now she is a sorcerer, which means that she can go ahead and do some spells. She can meditate on the spirit of Lamedus. Okay, let's see. What should we do? What should we do? I'm going to do a ritual of forced isolation because she's basically been isolated from love. She's been heartbroken, so she is just numb emotionally, and she is going to get her revenge. But in order to do that, we need her to get... Oh, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> we need her to go ahead and get some powers. We're going to have her become a dark fairy, and she's going to have some dark magic. Now, as far as Morwenia, she is going to go ahead and become a light fairy, of course. So, let's go ahead and have her investigate this object so she can go ahead and become a light fairy. There we go, lovely lady over here. So, let's go ahead and make her meditate. And she is going to do, I guess we'll do runner's vigor. Why not? She can go ahead and do that and meditate on that. And then I think we will be good to go. Then they will be able to practice their magic. And once they have practice enough, we should be powerful enough to fight against multi. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she has transformed. She's transformed. She is a social link. Oh my goodness. So let's see. What can we do now? She can boss people around. Call over. Okay, she can all over Layla. <gasps> she could boss around Layla. <gasps> Look at her. She's like, ha ha ha. I'm going to make her my minion. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> before we do that, can we wait? Okay, well, let's just, let's practice our black magic. <gasps> so she is going to have some evil powers. All right, and then while she's doing that, Marwenia is still meditating. Let's go ahead and make sure. Oh, I was going to say, let's make sure Layla is in here. Layla is on her way over to Ravenia. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I will make you go ahead and practice your white magic. So let's check on Ravenia. We have her looking very demonic right now. And Layla should be on her way. There she is. Oh my goodness. So we have her here. Let's do an enchanting evil introduction. Let's see. Okay, stop practicing your magic. Never behead her. No, 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 Layla. Don't leave. Don't leave. Layla, wait. Wait. Oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go. All right, she's gonna give her an evil introduction. I wonder if Layla's going to like that though. Layla didn't like that. Interesting, even though they're both dark fairies, she still didn't like that introduction. Interesting, interesting. <gasps> We could actually boss her around. So you know what? I think we should, when we get over to multi, look at her, she's so angry. All right now, let's just make her, why don't you go to sleep, Layla? Huh? How about you do that, Layla? Yeah, that's what I thought. You sleep right there and I will get to you. Oh no, I don't want you to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, you need to practice your black magic. I have Marwenia practicing her light magic and she looks super happy. She has hearts all over looking magical, just so mystical. And she is just <laughs> laughing maniacally like crazy. All right, all right. We gotta make sure that we keep an eye on Layla because we're gonna need her. So it looks like Ravenia is leveling up and look at this. She wants to complain about her love life. I think she knows. She's even her game self knows. She is still very jealous about the fact that she was heartbroken for multi. So I think she is definitely on her way to getting her revenge. Look at her. She is so determined. Oh no. Oh no. It's time for them to disappear to school. We're going to go ahead and follow Ravinia. And maybe if she meets Multi over there, oh, we've leveled her up quite a bit. I didn't actually have them do their homework. Oh my goodness, that's actually really bad. <laughs> but if she can meet up with Multi there, she she's pretty powerful already. She's at level four. I don't actually know how many levels there are in the Sorcerer mod, but we could do something. We could do some stuff to him. I hope that Multi isn't more powerful than us. Wow, speaking of, 
<laughs> he is literally right there. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at Ravinia. She looks so pretty. And look at him. Oh. Um, uh, is something wrong, Walty? Something's going wrong. He is very dazed. <gasps> Do you think he's still dazed from being defeated? Well, we did, well, I guess so, didn't we? Oh my gosh, snacks, only when the time is right. We have health and fitness class today. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an evil enchanting introduction to him. Oh my gosh, he is not feeling well at all. And Ravinia is out for blood. She's like, I'm gonna be evil to you. I don't like you, Multi. I'm gonna get my revenge on you. Oh, you don't like that? Well, guess what? I'm gonna shove you. How do you like that? But even more so, I think what we should do is actually, you know what? I'm gonna have her play. I'm gonna have her play nice. I'm gonna have her play nice. He doesn't like her. Let's beg for forgiveness just to see if, if he doesn't forgive us. Uh-oh. Oh, did he forgive her? Oh my gosh, he forgave her. Oh, multi actually being nice? Oh my gosh. Okay, so he forgave us for being mean to him because what I want to do... Okay, we're not off to a good start. Oh my gosh, girl, what happened to you? Here is a nature fairy, a grass fairy, actually. She looks beautiful. Huh, interesting. They're actually having a conversation. It's an unpleasant conversation. It is a conversation nonetheless. And look at what we have over here. The Fire King is over here. You guys, I completely forgot to show you the Fire King and the Water Queen, but I did add them in the last episode. Let's go ahead and take a little preview. So I added them into the castle, but I didn't actually show you what they looked like. Now, I just add, I just added this person from the gallery, and I think I just like added a skin and hair and whatever, so this isn't my creation. But here is the Fire King. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I feel like his head is just like a square <laughs> i don't know I, I couldn't i could not make him look like a normal human being he just has this like square head and i don't know what to do about it to be honest but anyways i'll show you the water queen when possibly possibly when we come back home so like i said we have the fire king and the water queen over here so this is what the water queen looks like isn't she beautiful again this was made by allison i believe i just did like a little makeover to her outfit and stuff i'm just gonna go ahead and go into create a sim so that we can show you what they look like so here is the water queen oh my goodness i love her so much she looks so beautiful i gave her like this icy snowy type of hair i think it looks really beautiful she's wearing like all blue like makeup she has blue eyebrows just everything blue to represent the ocean and I don't know if I oh I did change her outfit so this is what her outfits look like she looks beautiful and then here's the fire king like I said I just found this guy off of the gallery and I just I don't I don't know how I feel about his face it looks like a square but that's besides the point here he is he is here so I was thinking let me know if you guys think I should um have them get married or if I should use them to try and defeat multi um maybe we can have have them transform him to normal i don't know let me know what you guys think about that what i want to do oh my gosh is he being mischievous to me let's see if we could apologize to him just so that we could have a pleasant conversation i think i think he forgave us okay i mean we're still in the red but let's see if we could get into the green if we could get in into a good relationship with him then ravenia will be able to seduce him but obviously she's not like she's not being genuine about being nice to him um she's only doing this to try and get her revenge by breaking his heart so we're gonna go ahead and just try to be nice to him first we should definitely definitely be nice huh maybe we should go ahead and actually go to class Huh? Let's see. Remove from group. Is he part of my group? He is part of my group. Okay, cool. So let's go to let's go to health and fitness class. If we could find out where it is, it might be upstairs. Oh, I see people over here. I think everybody is over here. Yep. Oh my gosh, Amber is here. She looks super bored. Why don't we go ahead and um attend class together? Here we go. Attend health and fitness class. Hopefully, Multi will join us. It doesn't look like he is. Where did he go? He just disappeared. Where's Multi? Oh my goodness, seriously? 
Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, good to see you here, Multi. I wonder if he's going to join me. Oh, no. He's not going to sit next to me. Really? He would rather sit next to Amber? Why is he looking at Amber like that? Where does he think he is going? Oh, my goodness. Of course he's going to skip class. Why would I ever think he would actually go to class? Anyways, let's just try to become friends with him in the meantime. All right, we are done with our class, and it looks like Malty is over there. I wanted her to talk to him, but he keeps, he keeps walking away. Look, he keeps walking away from Ravinia. And she's like, oh, no, 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 Malty. Come on over here. Hey, Malty. I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Oh, all right, so we are here in the gym. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, make a flirtatious joke. I wonder if he will take that. We're like not like barely in the green. Oh, look, it's Layla. Layla is here. Hmm, maybe we should do something to Layla. Do you think we can boss her around? We could. Let's make her be a maid. Keep her busy. Oh my gosh, she actually liked it. Look, our love meter is actually higher than our friendship meter. How is that even possible? I don't know. But, hey, Monty, let's get to know him. We already know him. Complain about love life. <laughs> yeah, you know what's really lame? Our love life. Ugh, seriously. Okay, he did not like that. <laughs> Obviously, but what else is new? Ah, we can flip covertly. I wonder, could they be more romantic than be friends? Like, they're not friends, but they're romantic? Is that even possible? This is an awkward encounter. He is liking it. He is liking the flirting. Okay, okay. They're very dazed. Look at, look at Lady La. She's like, what is going on? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's just flirt with him and let's see if we could dance with him. Maybe we could. Oh, he's liking it. And it's really weird to me because their flirting meter or romance meter is higher than their friendship meter. I've never actually really uh, tried that before, but it seems to be working confess attraction i think that might be a little too early right now because we're just really really casual so let's just go ahead and ask if he's single first of all we already know the answer obviously because ravinia was heartbroken by him but anyways let's see what else we can do i think we should just keep doing the flirting because it seems to be working oh she's really bored that is not a good sign because when they're bored they ruin everything <laughs> they're like super mean all the time okay even though we haven't really tried to be friendly with him but we've only been flirting with him it seems like they're pretty much even look at little amber so cute i wonder i wonder if we compliment his appearance what would happen oh my gosh layla is like so confused she's like what is going on so right now we have her as a maid as you can see so that's pretty interesting um let's see oh they could just have their first kiss right now i don't think their meter isn't really high at all like I don't know, huh, let's see. Why don't we just exchange numbers? I wonder if that'll work. She is giving him her number. I think he already has her number to be honest, but maybe she changed it because she was like so upset with him. She's like, here's my number again. So, you know, we could possibly go on a date. Yeah, just a very friendly date. So look, their um, romance meter is pretty much even. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's continue flirting with him because it seems to be working. Even though she's not being friendly, she's not being friendly to him at all. She's just been flirting and it seems that they're they're getting along quite well. Layla has no idea what's going on. She is under a trance, obviously, as you can see. She's just like so out of it. Uh oh, I think she realized what's going on. Okay, so Layla, you know, since she's been always like by Malty's side, she secretly always had kind of a crush on him um, because obviously they're both evil and she really, honestly, like she's not like a super evil person deep down inside. She tries to be extra evil around Malty to try and impress him. So I think once she got out of that little trance, she realized like, oh my gosh, somebody else is flirting with Malty, but I have a crush with Malty, but I never, I never confessed my attraction or anything because he's really mean and I didn't want to upset him. So I don't know you guys, maybe Layla might get jealous of Ravenia getting her revenge. Even though Ravenia doesn't even like Malty, like actually like him, she's just doing this to break his heart like he did to her. <sighs> she's like, this is gonna be a toughie, but I think maybe... <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, she wants to fight with Layla. Oh my goodness, you guys. The girl rivalry is about to occur. She really does not like Layla. Layla is upset with Orvinia right now. She's like, she is trying to take the guy that I like. Oh, seriously. All right. So, <laughs> Ravenia is like, hey, Marwenia, I had such a great day at school today. I found multi. So, it's just a matter of time before I get my revenge. Ooh, apparently she has some earbuds. Why don't we listen to some music, shall we? Why don't we listen to some classical music? I feel like she would like classical music. She wants to buy an instrument as well. <gasps> and she wants to be mischievous because she's a fairy. Oh, my goodness. Why don't we be mischievous to our sister? I think sisters would be mischievous to each other, right? But we, um, I don't want to do anything too crazy. Why don't we just do like, um, tell an urban legend? And what about you? She is super bored. She's like, where's the fun? I'm bored. I want to do some pranks and stuff. We could challenge a sim to foosball. Let's see. Why don't we try to be mischievous to our sister? Here we go. We'll flick her nose. <laughs> but anyways, I want them to continue practicing their magic. She could actually suppress sadness, which is interesting. She just flicked her nose. <laughs> She's like, you silly. All right. So I'm going to have you practice your black magic. I'm going to have you practice your white magic. Look at this. She can cast an aura of agriculture. Wow, interesting. She can cost an aura of edibility so this food doesn't spoil and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. We'll just have them continue practicing their magic, and that way she will be even more powerful than Malti. Well, I was about to say I haven't seen Malti at school today, but lo and behold, I found him. He is upstairs all by his lonesome right in this classroom right over here. I don't know why. But I think what we should do is have Layla. No, not Layla. Oh my gosh. Ravinia teleport here. I was going to have her go to class. Absolutely not. We're going to actually have her teleport right here. Watch this. Because I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So she's like, yeah, Melty. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this. Look at what we're going to do. <laughs> Set on fire right here. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is gonna work. This is kind of dangerous. No, this is dangerous. Like, actually really dangerous. And I don't know if she can actually do this. Oh my gosh, she can. <gasps> she can. Oh my goodness. Is there, is there a fire? I don't see a fire anywhere. Okay. Uh, let's see. He got away lucky. All right, let's do a fire right over here. Let's see if it'll work. Let's see, let's see. Will that work? Oh my gosh, she just went in there. I wonder if she can't do that. Maybe we need to be inside? Huh. Interesting. He looks like he's not having any fun at all. I really wonder if this will work. I guess not. Well, we could still talk to him at least. I think we'll go ahead and do that. Still going to try and pretend to be nice to him. We'll flirt covertly as usual. This girl better not have any ideas. Because I'm the one that's going to get my revenge on him. Well, well, well. It seems that we are making a little bit of progress. So her second day of school went pretty successfully, as you can see. I didn't do as much romance this time around. But we are pretty much good friends. Um, So I think what we should do. Once she is done doing her homework she's gonna go ahead and do her homework with her sister where is her sister by the way her sister's playing with this little piece of clay i think we should go ahead and have them both go ahead and do their homework and then what i think i'll do is i'm gonna have her venia ask multi out on a date this is gonna be a really weird strange not too romantic date but a date nonetheless. To date of revenge. She is laughing in her homework. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think she's a little excited. Oh my gosh. Speaking of which, Multi is wondering if I want to go over his house and hang out. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to invite my sister because I want her to stay safe <laughs> because what I want Ravinia to do is cause everything to set on fire and I, for some reason, I couldn't do it at the school. I don't know if it's like a danger free zone or something. So I'm wondering if maybe we could set Multi's house on fire. How crazy would that be? I don't know if I could actually do that, but let's see what happens. Well, 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 here we are with Malty and he has us at his house. What does she want to do? She wants to be friendly with her sister. Oh my gosh, she is still dazed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's dazed too. 
Oh my goodness, Lamadus is disfavor. Why is the world spinning? Wait, no, I'm spinning. Oh my gosh, become Lamadus's curse in 15 hours. 15 hours? Oh my goodness. Um, uh, I wonder if this will help. Will that help if I do a joke? Why do a joke? Let's go ahead and do a deep conversation with him. I wanted to go ahead and ask him out on a date. And I don't think he liked that. That is kind of awkward to be honest. Oh my goodness. We're going to go ahead and ask him out on a date. We're, yes. We're just going to go out and ask him out on a date. Do you think he'll... I think that means a yes. <laughs> I think that means a yes. Even though we got a negative. Okay. So where should we go? Oh, I didn't think about this. I don't, I don't know what has, I don't know where to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, where would they go if dark fairies went out on a date? <laughs> where would they go? That's the question. I'm wondering if maybe they would go to like Forgotten Hollow or something. The thing is, is that there's no like, there's no public lot around here. So that's not going to work. Maybe they would go to the city. I don't know. Where would they go? Why don't we go ahead and go to Planet Honey Pop? Because that sounds pretty cool. So our goal of this date is to try to make him fall in love with us. And then maybe afterwards we can cause some chaos. <laughs> but before we do that, let's go ahead and socialize with our date. We gotta socialize 10 times and then we gotta flirt with him. Ugh, I don't really want to flirt with him, but I have to if I'm gonna make him fall in love with me. Oh, he's gonna do his homework. Wow, how responsible. Oh, <laughs> that didn't last. Okay, you guys. Wow, we have been doing quite well already so i'm telling him a story and then what we have left is to kiss our date oh that's gonna have to be saved for last i don't really want to kiss him especially not now oh good we have more things we're gonna go out and do some deep conversations and then i think we're gonna have to try and uh have our first kiss oh my goodness i wonder if they could actually do a duet Huh. We can only watch the karaoke. We can't sing it together. I was really wondering if we could. I guess not. Okay, you guys. Here it is. We only have one thing left. And that one thing left is to kiss him for the first time. I wonder if we could watch the karaoke together. Maybe it'll make them be romantic, kind of. He's like, oh, wait. I wanted, he wanted to talk to this dog. And then the dog ran away from him. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, can we sing now? Yes. We can sing. Let's sing a duet with Multi. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so weird. All right, well, let's see what happens. Come on, Multi. Let's do this duet together. Oh my gosh. I wonder how this is going to work out. I don't think either of them have ever sung before. So, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I mean, he's, he's okay. <laughs> This is actually really cute, you know? Even though Ravenia isn't really trying to be romantic with him, I think they're, they're getting along quite well, to be honest. Hmm, maybe this whole plan might work out after all. He looks like he's really enjoying himself. Huh, maybe we could actually turn him good once and for all. He's seeing a different side of the world. A side where you can actually have fun and enjoy yourself without being evil. Ah, Ravenia might be onto something here. Oh, so that was them singing together. Look how happy he is, you guys. He really liked that. He's like, oh my gosh, this life is so awesome. We got to sing together? That was so cool. Oh my goodness. And we're almost done. Oh my gosh, I guess maybe he didn't like the scene, but I think we should try and find a romantic area. I mean, there isn't that much, there's not that much we can go to. There aren't that many secret places around here. Um, maybe around here? I don't know, nothing around here is too romantic. And then we have these crazy people over here. Let's see, is there anything romantic around here? I don't think so, you guys. Well, maybe we can just go over here. Why don't we go here together? I think that might be the most romantic place with like these cherry blossom trees and stuff. Hey, Multi, do you um, wanna just chill outside a little bit? You know, just the two of us. It's like, oh, um, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> this is really fun, actually. Why not? All right, come on, Multi. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? well, oh my gosh, what's happening to our hair? <laughs> oh, Multi's over here. 
All right, no, don't take out garbage. What are you doing, girl? Uh, seriously, going crazy. All right, so um, let's just do a flirtatious joke. How much time do we have left? Oh, we have two hours. We have two hours. We have plenty of time. Hopefully, we have enough time. So we can just have a little flirtatious. Oh, I just realized that it's our, our view is covered. I mean, we could pretend that we could see the view. You know, the city and stuff. You know, it looks really cool. And huh, eh, he really likes it. Oh my gosh, they're being really flirty right now. Oh, you guys, I think it is time. I think it is time. Oh my gosh, we can't have our kiss anymore. Well, I guess we'll have to get back up there. Our last thing to do on the to-do list is to kiss our date for the first time. So let's see. Does he like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? I guess we have to compliment his appearance, huh? So this has been a really cool date and um, yeah, you know, I wasn't really expecting much, but I actually really enjoyed it. He's like, you know what? Uh, I did too, actually. It's just a matter of time. Let's see. We could blow him a kiss. <gasps> That's cool. Oh, here it is, you guys. Our first kiss. It is here. And it is time. And he really likes it. Okay, come on, Ravenia. It is time for you to have your first kiss with Multi. Although, technically, it's not their first kiss. But I don't want to miss this. Her hair is going crazy. Okay, here it is. Her first kiss with Multi. Oh my goodness! Dark fairies in love. Really crazy indeed. Oh my gosh! You guys? You guys? I think he's actually really falling in love with her. Oh my gosh! We could ask to be boyfriend already. I wonder if he'll say yes. We have one more thing on our to-do list, and that is to give a massage. But before that, he said yes! Oh my goodness. They're already boyfriend and girlfriend. <gasps> Look at him. He's like talking to her like, you know, I've really had a great time on this date and I'd really like to spend more time with you. I think we'll get along quite well. Where? Why are they running? Where are they going? Oh, where are they going? Why is she going to play in garbage? That is not okay. Where is he going? No, multi stop it. <laughs> stop running away. He's so happy. He's so excited. Seriously, we already have a gold date. I mean, a gold medal. But well, go date whatever. But I wanted to. I want to do all the to do things. Let's see. Offer massage. Where does he think he's going? I think he wanted to do some more. Look at her. She's like all the way on the opposite side. <laughs> My goodness, you guys. They have been getting along quite well. I think Ravidia might be rethinking her strategy. She was like, you know, I was gonna just break his heart, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should give him a second chance. Maybe I could actually make him turn good. Look at her floating around. Do you think we're going to have enough time? <gasps> she is very confident. Oh my gosh, we got a legendary date. And something is in our inventory. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. <gasps> Look at them being so romantic. I mean, they're kind of surrounded by a bunch of random people. <gasps> Look at that. She already wants to think about getting married. Are you serious, girl? This girl is going crazy right now. Look, oh, he kissed her. That is crazy. Ooh, invite to stay the night. <laughs> well, let's see if he will say yes to that. We're going to invite him over. A sleepover. Sounds great. Fantastic. Now, it's time to cause some chaos. I wonder, though. I don't know if it'll work, but let's just see what will happen. I'm going to see if I could cause the ground to just go on fire spontaneously. Will that work? Um... Let's see. Huh. Doesn't seem to be working. Huh, that's weird because it was working before. I don't know if maybe that's a glitch or something. Maybe we need to set the fire outside? Let's see. So she's doing the spell. And no fire. Oh, that's so weird. Well, multi. It's time to go home. So here we are back home. Look at these two beauties. And then look at this one over here. He looks so happy, you guys. Like, I've never seen Multi this happy. I feel like he's a changed man. I think he actually might be changing. Even though when he originally was in his relationship with Ravinia, he didn't have any heart, really. He was heartless. But I feel like now he has grown and he's actually in love. He's actually being nice. And I just wonder. I'm just curious because... I don't know if she could, she doesn't have enough magical connection. I don't know why the um, set on fire wasn't working. Ooh, we could do a suave kiss to him. We're going to invite him to stay the night, even though we already did. She could already propose to him, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
If we propose, that doesn't mean they will necessarily get married. That just means that they're engaged. So, if we get engaged and we're betrothed to Malti, I'm pretty sure that Layla wouldn't be happy about that. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, did he say, did he say yes or, or, oh, I think that means yes. And this guy's like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. So they are actually engaged, you guys. They are actually engaged. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're so happy. I think Multi is transforming. I think Multi is transforming to a good person, you guys. This might be the beginning of a beautiful relationship. We could plan our wedding event already. Oh my goodness, you guys. I wonder, maybe Multi is gonna transform. So here is Multi's original outfit, right? I decided to add a second outfit because he is in the transition of transforming to good. So I gave him a little bit of a lighter outfit, as you can see. It's still casual, but it's a little bit lighter, you know, instead of black, it's more gray and some lighter tones as well and I even changed his earrings and I was going to change his hair back to blue because when he became heartless everything about him even his hair transformed to dark and uh, this blue that looks like gray to me that looks horrible and I can't find any good hairs that have a blue color to them except for the one that Prince Fire has but it just doesn't make sense well maybe it would let me know what you guys think should I have Multi get the same hair as Prince Fire? Because they are brothers, so maybe they are twin brothers. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you would like for them to be twin brothers or not. But you see, once you put that hair on, you can totally see how similar they look. They look like exact twins, so I don't know. Should I transform his hair to the blue one that Prince Fire has? Or should I just keep this one? Because this is like multi-signature look. And then Prince Fire looks like so. I mean, they're not like identical twins, but they are definitely brothers. You can definitely tell. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about me like transforming Malty to good and changing his look to be a little bit lighter. Or if I should just keep him the way that he originally was. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But here he is in the game. Uh, he looks really silly. So why don't we go ahead and change his outfit to his second everyday outfit and let's just see what it looks like look at him he looks so happy look at oh my goodness seriously multi stop stop with the good looks why don't you go ahead and do your homework he is so excited because he is engaged and all that jazz but i want to go ahead and take control of Ravenia once again but i don't know i feel like you know, I feel Morwenna is really happy because her sister isn't doing her evil plans like she said. And even though Morena was like, I'll support you no matter what, sister, inside she's like really happy that Ravenia is actually being good. And here she is, the lovely lady herself. We're gonna go ahead and modify her and create a sim so we can take control of her once again. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at them. They're getting along quite well. Ravinia is super happy about it. She's super excited to be alive. We're gonna go ahead and invite him to stay the night just in case he forgot. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was a little weird. She is super sleepy as well. So I think we're gonna go ahead and have her go to sleep when she is done talking to um, Walty over here. Hey, Walty, do you want to stay the night with me? Huh? Okay, good. So they can hold hands. They're just being super romantic. Oh my goodness. Seriously? No, we are not doing that just yet. Oh my gosh. I think Layla is uh, getting a little worried. She's getting a little angry because Malty's falling more and more in love with Ravinia. Now, let me know what you guys think. Should I have Ravinia continue her evil plans to break Malty's heart? Or do you think Ravinia will be the one to transform Malty to be good once and for all? And then he'll stop being evil. But then we have Layla to deal with. So if we continue with this and have Multi turn good, then that means that Layla is going to be super angry and she's going to be the main evil one that we'll have to take care of. So I think we should go ahead. They're going to go, I hope, and go to sleep. Why don't we have them? Oh my goodness, they could woohoo. Oh, so enough. I wonder if that'll work. She's gonna go back upstairs. She's like, oh, oh, um, Multi, hey, Multi, you wanna go and have a woohoo? Oh my gosh. They are going to have their first woohoo for the first time. 
Delta candles. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure that Layla can sense something's not right around here. <laughs> Poor Marwin is like, I'll just uh, watch TV and pretend nothing's happening. Oh my gosh, did you do your homework, girl? You need to go ahead and do your homework. Oh, you are the one that lost your homework, huh? Interesting, she left her homework all the way down here. Seriously. All right, go ahead and do your homework. But Vinny, on the other hand, is a little busy. I think you should go to sleep with Multi. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Can they do that? Oh, yes, they can. Okay, good. So they're going to go ahead and go to sleep, and I'm going to see what's going on with Layla. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but apparently Layla is here at school, at Royal High School, all by herself. I don't know what she was thinking, but girl, we need to travel on over to the Light and Dark Fairy's house. So we're going to travel on over to the fairy castle and well we're just gonna go on our own obviously layla hasn't been feeling too well she doesn't have a good feeling about what's been going on she's like why is it multi-home i'm here at royal high school he's not at royal high school where could he be where could he be i have a sense i have a feeling he might be in here huh well i'm gonna go ahead and give her a piece of my mind hey do you know where my, um, my, uh, roommate is? Oh my gosh. Seriously, Ravinia. I told her to go to sleep, but she is not asleep. Huh. You. <gasps> she can't travel. She can't teleport. I don't know why she can't teleport. It's really weird. You. Wake up. What do you think you're doing? Huh. Huh? What's going on here? <gasps> Moti is here. You. Are sleeping with multi? Oh no, you did not. Oh, fighter, fighter! Can't believe you. He's my roommate. Yeah, he's my roommate. Oh my gosh, multi just woke up. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, she's like seriously, Layla. Did you really have to come over here and ruin it? Oh, he's happy. <laughs> he's like, yay, fighting. Oh my gosh, who's gonna win? <gasps> Layla is so angry. Multi's like, oh my god. <gasps> Layla was defeated. Oh, she's like, no, <laughs> no, strike two. No, 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 no. We need to try that again. Oh my gosh, they are enemies. Look at this. Oh my goodness, they are going crazy. Who's gonna win? Oh my gosh, Layla is so upset. She really just fought her on her own free will. That's hilarious. <gasps> Layla got defeated twice in a row. Oh no, she did not. No, she did not. What does she want to do? She wants to get to know Multi. <gasps> she's like, Multi, I thought that, you know, since we were, like, living together, we, um, would, you know, be together. What? What's going on? Multi, I have a confession to make. Um, you see, I, you know, since, you know, we were always, you know, doing evil plans together and stuff like that, I, 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 uh, 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 I thought that, um, we would be, um, together, you know? Um, listen, I'm not okay with this, okay? I'm not okay with you being with Ravinia. I wanted to be with you, Multi. Oh, what do you see? Oh my gosh, I don't know. She's super dazed, she's out of it, she's been beaten up. She's trying to, she's trying to make some sense into her words, but Multi's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She's like slurring her words and stuff like that, just going crazy. Oh my gosh, seriously. So you guys, I think Layla is extremely upset. And for some reason, she has lost all of her magical powers. I don't know what happened, but she lost all of her powers. You guys, do you think Layla is going to turn evil and get her revenge? And will she cause chaos to everybody? She, look at all this mean stuff she could do. She is just so upset, you guys. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Multi's like, uh, I don't know what's happening. I was kind of falling in love and I didn't realize Layla actually liked me. Um... This is weird. What should we do, you guys? Uh, let me know what you guys think I should do in the comments down below. With Multi, I realize that I haven't even touched Aquaria or any of the other households. I haven't even looked at Prince Fire. This was kind of like to transform Multi to be good. And look at this. He is just thinking about Ravinia like non-stop. Layla is clearly really upset about that. So let me know what you guys think I should do in the next episode. They're going to have school in about an hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and make sure to give it a like and if you're new subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys
Zip, Bobby, Zip, if you're a boy. <laughs>